Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about static methods inside of classes. Now, a static method is basically a method that can be accessed from inside of a class without creating an instance of that class. So generally, when we have a class, we're going to create an object of that class. So we're basically going to say, hey, here's our class. It's a template for a specific you know, entity in our program. And we're going to create a specific instance of that entity. So if I had like a book class, right, I could create a specific book with like a specific title, a specific author, a specific number of pages. And that's sort of like the general use case. But there's also something we can do, which is create a class that has static methods. And then what we can do is we can just access those static methods from anywhere we want. And we don't have to create an instance of that class. So let me explain this to you. Obviously, that's kind of a long winded ex explanation. So I'm just going to show you guys an example. A good example of this is the Java math class. If you guys have ever done anything with math in Java, you'll know that there's a math class and we can use specific methods in that math class. So I'm just going to write out a print statement just so we can see what's going on. And there is a class in Java, which is called math. And all I have to do to access it is I can just say math. And I can say math dot and then you can see down here I have all these options for different methods I can use. So there's a, you know a bunch of stuff here. And let's say we wanted to use a math function or a math method called max. And basically what this method does is you pass it two numbers and it'll spit out the maximum. So I could pass it three and six and we're going to get back that six because six is the greater of the two numbers. Now, this might seem a little weird to you. Generally, when we use classes, we create objects, right? So you might think I'd have to create a math object, like I'd have to go math, my math is equal to new math, right? You might think that I would have to do that in order to use this math class, right? In order to create an instance of this class. But the math class is actually special in that it's storing static methods. And a static method is a method that we can use without having to create an instance of this math class. So let me show you guys how this works. I'm going to create my own class and it's going to basically do exactly what that math class is doing. So I'm just going to come over here and we'll create a new class. So I'll say new class and I'm just going to give this a name. So why don't we just call this prints because this is going to print out some cool stuff for us. And down here, I'm just going to click finish. So now we have this new class called prints, right? Public class prints. Now, if I want to do something like we did with that math class, I can actually create specific methods inside of here and I can give them the static keyword. So I could say public static and we could create a method in here that just prints something out. So I'll say, say goodbye. So this method will just say goodbye to us. So in here we can just print something out. Goodbye. What you'll see is now I can actually go over to my app.java file over here and I can just access this directly. So I could just say prints dot say goodbye. So I didn't have to create a prints object. I didn't have to say like prints my prints is equal to new prints. Sorry, I didn't have to do that in order to use this method. I didn't have to create a prints object. All I had to do was just say prints dot say goodbye. And now it's going to go ahead and run that method for us and it's going to say goodbye. So what I could do is I could put as many of these little methods inside of here as I wanted. I could put like two or three dozen methods in here. And then when I wanted to access them, all I'd have to do is just access the class. So I'd say prints and then access the method. So this is another you know use case. It's another way that we can use classes. And a lot of times you're going to want to create classes that are just going to store methods or just going to store different attributes. So I could also put an attribute inside of this class. Again, I'm going to have to make it static. I can say public static and we could say like feet in miles. So this will tell me how many feet are inside of a mile. So it's like 5,280, I think. And this needs to be an integer. And so I could actually access this piece of information from inside of this. So I could just say like prints dot feet in mile and this would tell me that information. So 
In addition to use, just using classes and creating objects from those classes, we can also use classes to store like different methods or uh, different variables, different attributes. And that can honestly be really useful inside of your Java program. So, you know, don't just think that classes are only for the purposes of, you know, being instantiated into objects. Classes can also just be used to store a bunch of different methods, a bunch of different attributes, just like that math class, right? The math class, all it does is gives us access to a bunch of these different methods, which you can see down here. And a lot of times something like that will come in handy inside of Java. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Drop Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.